Santa Margarita, Sean Gordon here, your watchdog. I am going to step up my efforts now that the election season is upon us. Today is July the 13th, 2024. And much to my surprise, when I asked a few days ago, it turns out the nomination period starts on July 15th to run for the two seats that are going to be open. This will run through August 9th, Friday at 5 p.m. to file. Now, the timing was suspicious to begin with because it only allowed for one city council session in that period. And this week at the meeting, they uh, canceled that meeting. So, so far, I have not seen any promotion of the fact that you can run for city council. I'm sure it's buried somewhere. It is on the website, and I'll include a link to that. So what we have is we went to district election, district voting earlier, last year rather, uh, due to a lawsuit that they have yet to uh, pay what they are obligated to and are going to be sued for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's just brilliant. They also gerrymandered the districts because normally Brad McGurr, Ann Figueroa, and Tony Beal would all be in the same district. That means two of them would have to go. Tony and Carol Gamble are up for re-election this year, despite the fact that they weren't going to run in 2020 and did anyway, and now they're going to run again. Um, and I did some uh, rough numbers. They've been in power as long as Vladimir Putin has been in power in Russia. So give that a little thought when you think about it's time for a change. So the way they set it up is they gerrymandered the districts. There's going to be a lawsuit over that costing the city more money. It will invariably be changed. But at the moment, it's four districts and one at-large mayor. That allowed Tony to run for mayor, and it split right up. I don't even know how they came up. Well, I know how they came up with these boundaries. Uh, Tony and Carol got some people to submit the map, and that's going to come out here in the near future. So they split it up such that all five of them could continue on at city council. I don't know that Jerry, Brad, and Ann are going to run again, but that's the way it is now. I think it's because it would have kicked out Brad and Ann. And so there we are. The election is up. They've rigged it so that they can stay in power. Carol and Tony are up. Carol is in what is now known as District 3. And so that's the Melinda Heights area. Somebody needs to run against her. Running against Tony is anybody in the city. So just be aware they're playing games just like they did with the Boys and Girls Club where Carol and Tony conspired with the city manager, Jenny Cerv Jennifer Cervantes, to hide the information from the other city council members of what was really going on, and they had canceled the contract. It was literally said by Brad McGurr that had he known then what he knew now, he would never have voted for the museum, and that's because they didn't tell them. I went back and listened to all the audio. Tony pitched a fit over it. I've posted all the audio. It's very long, but it's worth hearing what goes on. Jerry was very angry. To Jerry, Ann, and Brad's credit, they spent time talking and investigating, and the wonderful residents of the city showed out in force for council meeting after council meeting, and it made Tony so mad. You have to hear how mad he gets he does not want you sweaty masses speaking up and infringing on his power so there we go folks it is time and you got to get involved i hope to see you on the trail